Yeah, so I know the shop had a lot of hype, but wow, this is big. So this is the SM Mora Premier. It starts here. It goes all the way down here and it like curves up. What the heck? This is insanely big. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the BGC. I'm in the sea, baby. So we arrived here yesterday from Tundo. And wow, coming here was such a dramatic change because we went literally straight from the slums and it wasn't even a far drive and we come to this. Like, it really makes me appreciate places so much more like this when we've experienced experiences we had before. So the place we're staying at right now, someone reached out to Tal and he has an uh, Israeli restaurant. So we ate there yesterday, it was so amazing. It was like, I've really fallen in love with Israeli food. It's called Noor. So if you're around this area, definitely check out Noor because they have epic food. And that guy also has a spare apartment, so he's nice. he was nice enough to let us stay for a bit. Hey, hey, hey. So what's the plans today, mate? What is the plans today? What today, have we got planned? Today, we are going to explore one of the fanciest malls in all of Manila. In yeah. The, in the craziest, <laughs> most amazing design of a mall in this city. It's going to be sick. So I've heard there is some epic malls around here. We need to get a lot of shopping done. So let's go check out what those malls have to offer. Let's go. Yeah, so I know the shop had a lot of hype, but wow, this is big. So this is the SM Mora Premier. It starts here, it goes all the way down here, and it like curves up. What the heck? This is insanely big. Yeah, so this really amazed me. So you got the SM Mall right there. And then literally just across the road. I've never seen this in any city. You have the complete opposite. It is It is like the slums. It is the slums. Like right here is a whole new way of living. How the heck is this possible? How is this in the central of the city? It's crazy. Okay, right behind me, beautiful city. And right here, going into this other area now. So it's literally just barricaded all like within a wall. And we are right amongst it now. Yes. Hey, happy new year. So here we are, we're right right in the middle of it all now. So when we're over there, there was a guy like waving us down to come to come over here. So we just decided to come in and come into this exact spot. But you can see like the area of barricades. So it's not the biggest area. It's, it's literally just in the middle of a park in the middle of the city. And then the SM Aura shop is behind this big giant building here. How crazy is this? So one thing that I found interesting is like, this area is very poor and a lot of people are in poverty, but this guy here, for some reason he goes all out and has the biggest flat screen TV on the wall. Like, look how big this thing is. Ooh, look at it, it's huge. Oh, here comes the family. And Ivan right now is gonna sing some karaoke. <laughs> Yeah. 
There you go, no matter where we go in the Philippines, we'll always be doing karaoke. See, this is why I always encourage people to come to places like this. It may seem intimidating at start, but the people in these areas are always super friendly and you never know like the experiences you're gonna get. But right now, we're gonna head into the mall, which will be totally opposite. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the S M Aura. Let's go get lost in this shop. I'm sure we will. It's pretty damn big. <laughs> So we're just at a sushi place and they have a sushi cake out. Have I not heard of this? Look at this. Damn. If it was my birthday, I would want one of these for a cake. Okay, so I'm extremely hungry, so I ended up just getting two meals. I got a nice big slice of pizza and I got a baked rice beef oriental to come. And of course, because I am in the Philippines now, I have switched to pesos. So one Australian dollar is 35 pesos and one US dollar is 50 pesos. So this pizza right here was, how much was this? This was 140 pesos, meaning the price is this much. And my baked rice is ready right now. So I'll go grab that. And that was 138. So two meals, here we come, because I'm hungry. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, let's eat. Mm -hmm. So now we are officially on the top of the SM Aura. And it is such a great view up here. We have like a 360 view of the whole entire city. Take me to your heart. I belong, I belong to you. So we're done exploring SM Aura and now we're off to the next mall which is called Market Market. So apparently this one has like a lot of electronic stuff and Tal and I really need to stock up on more electronics. They have like this area here and they've got like stalls everywhere set up with amazing fruit stands. Like every single fruit here just looks super fresh. And then they got a bunch of food stalls over there and souvenir stalls here. It really feels like that market feel. Hence, that's probably why it's called Market Market.
So I think this mall just seems a little bit busier. Just a little bit. Everyone seems to be getting Christmas deals. So now I've just got my SIM card sorted for the Philippines. I bought it a couple days ago, but for some reason I wasn't able to activate it like through the app. So I just come to the store and the shops. And I think the best two that are in the Philippines is Smart and Globe. Like, I don't know which one's the best for overall service, but they're sort of equally good. Uh, I just stuck to Smart. And right now, I don't, I don't, I've lost Tal. I've completely lost Tal. He said he was going to go to a Globe store to top up his card. But, oh God, the shop is madness. I can't find anything around here. It's so busy. Got a fair few things sorted at the shops. I got some new earphones and I picked up a new pair of running shoes, which I've been needing to get for a very long time because like coming into next year, I just want to try to start running as much as I can. Um, yeah, it was really cool seeing all those shops today. But before it gets dark, I'm gonna get this run out of the way, jump in the pool, and then I will end it there for the day. So let's run. Oh wow, it is so nice running around the city at night. Especially around this time of year, because they've just got like Christmas lights set up everywhere still. And for a big city, it's pretty pretty quiet. Like running around, there's not really that many people. And it's super clean too, like compared to the majority of the rest of the Philippines we've been in already. It's very clean. Like it's it's Japan clean. Oh, it's definitely a good city to run around though. Oh man, that is the stuff. No bit of way to end the day. I'm fresh enough in the pool. It's always a plus when a hotel has a pool. It's been a long time. Because I lost my towel a long time ago. I don't know where my towel went. I'm actually just using my sarong now as a towel. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video for today. It was really cool checking out all those malls. Like, I know Filipino malls are big, but Jesus Christ, they surprise me every time I go in. And Leave a comment below guys, like if you have any recommendations for any other malls around Manila or throughout the Philippines, let me know because I really want to explore more of these Filipino malls. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to give a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, follow your dreams, skate your cover zone, and I'll see you on another day throughout the Philippines. Bye!